Hey guys, it's Bobby Legs and welcome to another episode of Bobby Legs Loves Watches and today I will be reviewing the Citizen Promaster Diver model number BN0198-56H. I'm very excited to get this watch into the channel for review. This is the first time I have a chance to review a Citizen uh, powered by the eco drive on the channel and I'd like to thank Dave uh, who is my neighbor's father my neighbor Seth uh, last year I think I lit a spark in in Seth uh, and he started getting interested in watches and collecting and uh, I think he in turn has lit a spark um, with uh, his father although I think the both of them did have an interest in clocks and watches beforehand uh, but now uh, they they seem to be uh, going down the rabbit hole. At least I hope they go down the watch collecting rabbit hole because it's kind of cool to to have people in your life who are interested in, in the same hobby. Uh, but before I continue with this review, please like and subscribe and click that bell icon to get updates every time I upload new videos. I love making these videos and I hope you like them too. And please also follow me on Instagram. Now let's get on with the review. So let's talk specs. We have a 45 millimeter case diameter, 12 millimeter case thickness, a lug to lug of just under 49 millimeters as I measure. You do have curved lugs here that curve down to hug the wrist. 22 millimeter lug width. The case is stainless steel. You do have some brush sides here, polished chamfer edges here. Uh, the bracelet is also stainless steel with a mix of polished and brushed. The clasp is um, stamped as you would expect on at this price range here with three micro adjusts, double push button deployment and fold over clasp for security. I'm keeping the stickers and and uh, and plastic on that part for, for Dave so he can get the pleasure of unpeeling um, those. You have a 120 click bezel which is stainless steel, but the insert here is this gray aluminum. Very nice. And so let's um, get a little bit closer on a dial, but first let's talk about the uh, Caliber EcoDrive E168, uh, which is powering this watch. It's a, a solar. Um, now, a couple things you want to know, and uh, something that I learned the first time I pulled this out. Uh, of the box is that you know the, it's been in the box for a while so it's not charged and as soon as I pulled it out the second started to run and it was skipping two seconds so instead of like going one one as you see there one second two seconds three seconds it would hesitate then skip two seconds then hesitate for a second and skip two seconds so that's just an indication that it needs to be charged um, and uh, as per the instructions you know even on a sunny day if you're out with this for at least two minutes, uh, it'll charge up for 11 hours or so. So, so pretty impressive there. I couldn't find anywhere in the documentation how long at fully charged uh, does it hold the charge for. Um, I've read somewhere where it could be uh, a few days to six months to to eight years, depending on the type of Eco Drive caliber you have there. So, um, I just couldn't find anything specific when I looked this up myself. Um, so let's actually change the time. Another another tidbit here, um, when you're changing the date, as I read, um, from 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. in the morning, you don't want to change the date uh, because it could, um, I don't know if it will damage the movement, like with some automatic movements, um, but it may not change over correctly eventually so so just keep that in mind that if you're between 9 p.m. and 1 a.m. Um, you know either pull out the crown and and, and change the time uh, to you know something after that time to change the date or or just wait um, so first position is to change the date here that I have here um, and then the final position is to change the time it does hack and uh, and then you just push it back in. This does have 200 meter water resistance. And you can see the you, the dead giveaway that it's a solar or quartz is that um, there's no uh, beat. So uh, it's just every second it hits the mark. 
Now let's look at that dial. The dial is this kind of like mm, blackish gray dial, like a sort of a sunburst, uh, depending on uh, on the light here. The hands are um, uh, lum uh, covered with luminescence as well as the um, hour indices. And you do have a chapter ring with a with a minute track in there, as well as on the outside and the inner inner bezel, you do have a little uh, minute track if you see that as well. Citizen at the twelve o'clock and Eco Drive and divers two hundred meters above the six. And then here on the case back is a solid case back. Let me see if I can um, get a good view of it here for you guys and you have your typical information citizen eco drive model number etc Japanese movement and finally this uh, the crystal is uh, a scratch resistant mineral crystal so pretty typical in this price range to get something like that you're not gonna get sapphire in most cases you'll get this uh, some some companies have a proprietary uh, resistant uh, scratch resistant mineral um, which is pretty pretty solid. I mean, obviously not as hard as sapphire, but uh, it's still um, it's still pretty tough. So let's talk a you know a little bit about why I like this watch and some of the things that are positives here. I do like the Citizen Eco Drive technology. I think it's awesome that we can have something on our wrist that helps us tell time that is powered by the sun. Look, I love my automatic watches, my manual wine watches, my quartz watches. Um, I like having that kind of variety in a collection and the Nico Drive, um, it's iconic in a sense. You know, we people know, normal civilians who are not necessarily watch enthusiasts probably have heard of the Eco Drive and solar powered watches. So, so that's a, that's definitely a plus for me. Um, I aesthetically, I like the way the watch looks and the way the watch, um, feels on wrist. Um, it's a great size. Yes, the diameter is 45 millimeters, but the lug to lug is just under 49. So that is actually a more important number for me. And the case thickness, you know, only being 12 millimeters, you know, because you have, you don't have like a automatic movement here that's going to make it a little bit thicker. Um, you can you can stay like relatively thin here and it feels really really good on wrist um, aesthetically I, I like the way it looks I love this black dial or grayish dial sunburst whatever it is it looks really really cool um, the bezel action is pretty good um, the loom is actually pretty good um, so there's a lot to like about this watch and I especially like this watch at the price you can get it you know just under two hundred dollars on the uh, gray market now there's a couple of things that are that are negatives that I think that could be improved on. Um, you know I'm not crazy about uh, this push pin uh, type bracelet. Um, I always seem to struggle with that, and um, and uh, I'm sure it's like a push collar uh, scenario here. Um, so it's not the easiest thing for me anyway uh, to size. Um, also, you know, of course, you know, the, the mineral crystal, you know, it's not ideal. I would prefer to have sapphire, but again, at this price range, you know, I can't be, I, I can't be too picky uh, about it. Um, one last thing, and it may, for, for those who are extremely obsessive or anal about anything in life or things, is that, um, the seconds hand now it doesn't always strike at the second so it looks like right now um, it is striking evenly at the seconds uh, at the top end of the uh, of the of the dial but when you get to the uh, six o'clock position um, it starts uh, hit missing a little bit and you can see it's kind of missing a little bit I'm trying to hold this straight on um, but it's not a direct hit on uh, on the seconds um, as it goes around to the three o'clock position now, and it, and and you can see it's kind of a little bit off. But uh, you know, for me, that is not an issue. But I know for some some people it is. So just just be aware that this may be a possibility. I'm not sure if it happens with every single uh, watch in this in this line, um, but I've noticed um, that in quartz watches. Um, 
this happens and and only in the very extreme high end uh, of quartz watches where you're spending like hundred high hundreds and or thousands of dollars do you always or do you are more likely to see a perfect strike with a second hand and the second marker so just keep that in mind uh, like I said for me it's not a deal breaker but I know some people it, it can be so in conclusion guys I really like this watch uh, for the price that you can get it I think it really packs a lot you have this great eco drive technology, 200 meter water resistance. Uh, aesthetically, I love the looks. The the loom is good. Uh, the bezel action is good. Sure, you know the the pin and collar um, uh, bracelet adjustment is not my favorite, um, but uh, you know that's not a deal breaker for me. Sure, would I have liked to have a sapphire crystal? But at this price point, I, I'm not expecting that, so it's not a deal breaker for me. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of Dave's new purchase um, in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.